Om Shanti, welcome back. We are doing the recording of a day previous, which is 7th of September. I was traveling, couldn't do the recording. So let's go ahead and let's understand that how Supreme Godfather wants us to become a conqueror of attachment. And attachment can be with people, can be with things, can be with money and can be with many other things also. And there are certain things which are very, very thin lined with which we have attachments, even with our own self our own, our own image in our own eyes and sometimes when it gets shattered that's the time we realize that we really had an attachment with that so let's understand what supreme father has to say here in yesterday's blessing god says may you be a conqueror of attachment and a trustee who is free from sorrow while earning money so we can be in sorrow while earning money when there's a loss when we see somebody else doing better than us that means comparison and then we feel lower, we feel low maybe. Why didn't I do it? Why didn't I take the step? And that's where the stability goes away and our next steps also tend to be in that stage or that state. So God then says, while earning money and fulfilling your responsibilities to your relations. To fulfill your responsibilities to Lokik. Lokik means worldly relatives. While living among them is a different matter. From being attached to them so attached to them means I have done so much for them and why isn't this person or why isn't my wife my husband my mother father child son daughter why isn't that person giving me more leverage or more importance or more uh, attention or anything which you think can lead to attachment and God then says that that is something else that's a negative part of being in a relationship and having to do your duties or fulfilling your responsibilities so when we don't have any attachment we're just doing it we don't expect anything from them because we are so happy with our own life we are so fulfilled with our own life we're so busy in our own life that we don't have time to think that whether that person did something back for me or not whether that person was there for me or not and we are growing beyond any need of the limited because we are unlimited beings and that's a state of mind that's a thinking that can be reached when we are consciously making sure that we are cutting off every single thread of attachment and that attachment is not cut through hatred or through disdainment or through putting people down or by saying you know what I'll never ask this person for any help because that person has shattered my heart or that person has is that person is not up to my mark you know we can't put people down to show that yes I am detached or I am not attached to that person or that being so the God then says to be a trustee and earn income is one thing that means I am doing it for taking care of this body for my daily needs I am doing it and to earn because of attachment is another thing attachment means I have to do this because I have to fulfill that person's responsibility because if I don't earn what will happen to that person and when we are doing it with that kind of feeling then there's heaviness we are doing it as a responsibility as a trustee that's separate thing but when we're doing it as a as a heaviness when we're doing it with a lot of uh, pain and suffering and complaint and blame and criticism we're doing that same act we're taking care of somebody financially mentally emotionally physically and we're doing it out of complete remorse, complete bad feeling or sadness or feeling stuck. Then God says then that attachment is also a negative form of attachment but it's still an attachment and that's going to not let us come out of it. So how do we do it? Neutral feelings. That's what we learn. So then God says the sign of someone being a conqueror of attachment and a trustee is that there is no name or trace of sorrow or peacelessness how many times i have to do it for you you don't understand why i always have to do for you why can't you do it on your own or something like where am i stuck why did i give this person this idea i'm stuck in this forever why isn't this person letting me be free why isn't this person becoming independent? Why is this person not taking the responsibility? And that is sorrow, that is peacelessness and it makes more of it. It brings in more of it 
even more of it because those are the vibrations we are sending to the other person and we are through our vibrations which are so powerful our light which is so powerful our energy is so powerful our feelings are so powerful are being felt by that soul and that soul doesn't have the courage doesn't have the power to come out of their own misery because we are labeling them blaming them criticizing complaining and these are all labels which we are putting onto them and that is depleting the energy to move out or move ahead or to grow so that we become free so then god then says let there be no waves of sorrow even if there is fluctuation in your earning income or if someone becomes ill while you are fulfilling your responsibilities to your relatives live examples family examples and there are so many things which are happening even maybe in your own life also my life also and that's why god says that let there be no waves of sorrow even if there is fluctuation in your earning income or if someone becomes ill while you are fulfilling your responsibilities to your relatives and this is where self power self love self encouragement and devising the mind on a daily basis morning evening afternoon comes in otherwise negative thoughts can take over like viruses and they can eat up your peace eat up your happiness eat up your love in your life so constantly be a carefree emperor because things will not last for long i mean it is a negative things and things which have been done in the right manner with purity with the right attitude will last for long so it doesn't go for things won't last for long means happiness also will not last for long no when things have been achieved when things have been done in the right manner with the right attitude with purity then they will last for long but sorrow will not last for long until unless we take on the pure path the the divine path the carefree path and that's what we learn in brahma kumaris how to take that path and the sun shall rise for you with this om shanti